I'm about to launch a dropshipping store right in front of you in 36 hours and I'll be recording the entire process for you to see. Now though I managed to generate millions of dollars in sales in the past, this is not going to be an easy task. So I made a plan to get my new store up and running in less than 12 hours and for the remainder of the challenge, run ads. So here are the steps I'm gonna follow. Finding the product, coming up with a store name, creating my Shopify store along with setting up the entire backend, acquiring solid ad creatives, and of course, advertising my store. Sound like a lot? Well, yeah, that's because it is and I don't have much time to waste, so let's get right into this. All right, so the things that I look for in a winning product are wow factor, whether or not I can create a bunch of content around this product and finally that it has some sort of differentiating factor and of course it's not being sold by everyone and their mom so for now i'll be scrolling through tiktok search feed and filtering 24 hour time periods and this week until i find a product that fully matches the criteria that i've been looking for and after about 20 minutes of scrolling i found this alien ball which is a mega bouncy ball that off the bat has wow factor and I could definitely see someone making a bunch of engaging content around. So now I'm gonna start brainstorming a good brand name with AI. All I did was tell ChatGPT a bit of information about my product I plan to sell along with the competitors I found and told it to come up with a series of brandable names that are unique. Now that I got this response, I'm going to stick with Lunar Lux Ball. It sounds good and has a nice ring to it. Key tip, don't try to overcomplicate your store's name. Keep it simple, less ends up being more. And to make sure that the name is in fact available for me to use, I went over to godaddy.com to see if the domain was available. And in my case, it was. All right, so on to the next step, I'm gonna start the store creation process. And in order to do that, I will be using Shopify, specifically my partner link, which will save me $38 a month on Shopify. So that's pretty nice. And if you guys want to save money as well, I'll make sure to leave a link in the description. I also wanted to mention that at the end of the video, I'm actually going to give away the store completely for free to one of you guys since this is just a test store for me. Now all you have to do is like the video and I'm going to be choosing a random subscriber. And the winner of the last video's free store is Ryan Hamid5626. Thank you for the sub. Just send me a DM on Instagram and I'll send you access to that store. All right guys, so we are making progress. We got the store name, we got the product, we got Shopify. All we need to do now is get that product from AliExpress onto our Shopify store. So let's hop back into the computer and show you what I'm going to do. As right, so you can see, Pretty nice, we have three months for a buck and then $50 in free apps for credits. It's gonna be definitely useful. Now in order to get this product onto AliExpress, we can go to any one of my videos and we can see the link in the description for AutoDS. We got the free trial for 30 days, an extended free trial, which is awesome. So I'm gonna be signing up with the email that I created right here, I'm gonna press join. And of course we are using Shopify. So this is a platform that I'm gonna proceed with. Continue in the packages. I'm gonna go with the starter 500 because it's the most popular. We have that 30 day free trial and this is really just contingent on how many products you plan to import. So I'm gonna go with that. Now I'm gonna import my billing information. You can see it's $0 for 30 days, which is really nice. And I'll get back to you guys once I fill this out. All right, so here we are onto the AutoDS dashboard. Now, first things first, I gotta add my store, add a store and then we're gonna install the app and then we are back. Now we're gonna add our product. I'm gonna import a single product right here and I'm just gonna go get my AliExpress link, copy it, add back, paste it, and then we can also edit it right now. Edit now and we can pick what we want to import to our store. So we can select various titles, descriptions, colors, images. For now, I'm just gonna save and import. You can always edit it later. All right, so it looks like it has been imported. It's been complete. We're gonna go back to Shopify, back to our products, refresh, and it should be here. Here it is. So we have our product right here. We can see there's a product page. We can make any edits as needed. But for now, we just imported the product. To get some of the video creators and to really expedite this process since I'm on a serious time crunch and I do not have much time, I'm gonna be using viral e-com ads, which is basically a service that will create high quality dropshipping ads for us. Now I have used them before and they are very reliable. They do a good job of ensuring consistent quality within a really quick time frame of either one to three days. So I'm gonna head over to viral e-com ads and it's pretty straightforward. All I have to do is select my package up here. As you can see that they have video ads and select those packages, UGC ads, animation ads, and then they have this VIP package, which seems pretty cool. If you're a VIP, you get 70%, 75% off all video ad packages, 38% off all ad packages, 24 hour delivery. So that's pretty cool cool, but I'm gonna be using this TikTok split testing package. All right, so it's pretty simple. All I really have to do is select my package right here. If I want a one TikTok split testing, 
three TikToks and they do discount bundling, which is nice for now. I'm just gonna go with the single and then I'm gonna go with uh, text as well. And then I'm also gonna add a voiceover. So after I make that payment, I'm gonna submit this form with the information of my AliExpress link. From there, we're gonna send over that email with the finished product and we're gonna be good to go. So for now, I'm gonna get to the editing of the store and get back to you guys when I finish and hopefully it's not too long. It is still pretty early over here in Europe. All right guys, so it's been about three and a half hours since the last time we spoke. Uh, I worked on the store for about two and a half hours. Uh, then I went to the old town. I'm in North Macedonia right now. I got some lunch and here we are back. Uh, we can go in and check out the store. So here is the desktop version we are in the editor, but remember 99% of our traffic is gonna come in on mobile. So uh, this is what it does look like on mobile. We have the header, we have the logo, and then we have the homepage banner. And when we scroll down a bit, we can see a little bit of information about the product along with the featured product that is right here. And then we can go scroll down and see we have all the footer information. And then we'll go in and check out specifically the product page because that's where we're going to be directing most of the traffic to all the traffic to is a product page so we can go and check that out and as you can see here the product page we are selling the unit for 11.99 and then we are working with four main colors right here i didn't want to over convolute anything so we're sticking with these four colors at this price and then we are doing a discount as you purchase more so from here this is the description pretty self-explanatory took a little bit more time because i wanted to work on the design but for the most part everything looks pretty good the back end's all set up and we are ready to start advertising also good news i just received my video ads from viral ecom ads in my inbox i'm hooked on this bouncing sensation it's a sphere of pure fun and adventure. Pretty much just what I was looking for. Clean, concise, and properly showcasing product I plan to sell with this TikTok-like format. For this specific product, I will be using TikTok ads. And the clock is ticking, no time to waste. So let's hop back into the computer, get into my TikTok ads manager and set up a campaign step-by-step. Step. All right, so here we are onto the TikTok ads manager. All you gotta do is press that create button. From here, we have two options. We can use simplified mode or custom mode. For now, I'm gonna be using custom mode. I wanna have a little bit more direction from here. Either way, it's gonna be pretty broad for the most part. So obviously we want conversions want to get people to buy our products. So that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm gonna be using website conversions. I am gonna be using smart performance campaign. So the budget is gonna be on the entirety of the campaign. For now I can just name this anything that's gonna help me identify what exactly I'm advertising. So in this case, I'm just gonna do this. Test broad lunar TikTok ad, uh, and then we're gonna go continue. So I'm gonna be doing, and then from here, I'm gonna select my pixel along with my optimization event, which will be complete payment. So once that is set, I'm gonna scroll down to my placements. And for now, I'm just gonna be doing TikTok. I'm gonna allow a user comment. I'm gonna take off video download, and then I'm gonna allow video sharing. So from here, audience targeting, in my experience, I've had better results targeting with TikTok completely broad. So the only thing that I really can find to specifically is just the location. Now for my audience targeting, I'm going to go with location based in the US. Now, generally, I start off with US or Canada, but for now, I'm going to go US, language is all. And then for here, I'm going to put the budget. I'm going to run it at you know, 50 bucks and I'm just going to let this run continuously. Optimization goal is going to be value. Should be 70 click one day view. And then for here, I'm going to create my custom identity. I'm going to do Lunar Lux Ball. And then from here, I'm going to upload my video. So I'm just going to drag and drop that video that Viral Ecom ad sent to me. And then I'm going to upload it. And so for the call to action, I'm gonna keep it pretty simple. I'm just gonna be doing get yours today. Get yours today, super simple. And we do not want a super long call to action anyways. And then the destination URL, we are going to be putting our product page. So we'll head over to our product page, just like this copy. We're gonna paste it here. And simple as that, our campaign is done. I am gonna submit and once this is approved, it's gonna start spending and hopefully we can get some sales. All right guys, we are back and the ads have been running for a complete 24 hours. So let's check out the results and see how we did. But before we get into the nitty gritty, I do want to give you guys a quick heads up. I am reopening my mentorship program where we would hypothetically be working one-on-one -on -one to help you build a sustainable e-commerce brand. Now my time is super limited and I wanna give my mentees the attention that they deserve. So we're only gonna be opening up two slots. 
And if this is something that you've been looking for, you can fill out the application below. Now let's get into the results. If we're in my Shopify dashboard, we'll go to analytics and then we'll check the date that I started, which would be the 15th through the 16th. And we can see that we got one single sell. So that's $14.98. We had 30 sessions, 3.33% conversion rate. Average order value was only 11.99, and then we were charging 2.99 for the shipping. One single order, we'll go in and check out the ads as well. So this was that campaign that I ran. Here was that $50 budget. That's what we spent, $50. Now the CPC was 1.79. Would want it to go a little bit lower, but that's fine. And then the same with the CPM. Ideally, I would want to be at like a seven to nine dollar CPM. And the CPM is just really the cost to get 1000 impressions on the clicks, 28 clicks, CTR 0.64. I would have wanted to get closer to the 1%, zero conversions. They did not track this conversion, but that's fine because we ended up getting the order anyway. All right, so now if we go to the breakdown, our total revenue is $14.98. From that one order, uh, we had $11.99 for the unit itself, $2.99 for the shipping, and we'll go over the cost. Now, if we remember, the Facebook ads cost $50, so that's a flat $50, and then per unit was $1.89 to fulfill the unit. So the tracking available option for the shipping, don't recommend going with tracking unavailable, even though it's a little bit cheaper. Always go for that tracking available. So, Total cost was $4.28. Now, if we account for the 3% transaction fee, that would be 45 cents roughly for the transaction fee. And then we also wanna account for that $1 Shopify fee. That means that our total cost is $55.73. And if we subtract that from our revenue, we get a total net profit of negative $40.75. Clearly this challenge didn't go as planned. I ended up losing around 40 bucks, but that's the reality of this business model or any business model for that matter. The idea isn't about avoiding setbacks. It's about amplifying your successes and learning how to turn those losses into lessons. To be honest, I only had a day and a half to get this done. So I'm pretty satisfied with what I was able to do in such a short time crunch. But moving forward, I would work towards making a few adjustments. Okay, first of all, a $50 ad spend just isn't sufficient to fully test a product's potential. Now, if you're serious about this, consider running this campaign for at least another three to five days at this daily budget. Second, I'd order the product on Amazon and focus on organic marketing. Setting up a dedicated TikTok account for user-generated content, aka UGC, could be extremely beneficial since going viral can allow you to generate traffic and in turn sales at nearly zero cost. And finally, I'd be interested in diving deeper into Facebook's capabilities, specifically a more detailed targeting approach. Do not let the fear of failure hold you back. Remember, growth often comes from lessons we learn when things don't always go as planned. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Best of luck on your own stores. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.